Hi again, uh, here we are to talk more about responsive web design. And in the last video, I kind of showed two layouts drawn in Sketch. This might be a desktop layout, and this might be our mobile layout. And, um, you know, how are we going to apply styles to make changes between two screen sizes, right? Let's, let's take a look at that, right? So what I have here are the, the media queries from Bootstrap, okay? And they, there's actually two sets of media queries, and you, you'd really only use, um, you know, half of this. You might use this half here, and you might, or you might use the bottom half, okay? So the first half um, are the media queries that you might apply if you took a mobile-first approach, okay? In a mobile-first approach, you've designed and you've created your current style sheet um, around a mobile design. So you've designed for a small screen, um, you know, a mobile phone, and you've got all your styles set up. And now what you want to do is you want to apply some rules when the screen is larger than a certain amount. Okay, so when, when you're on the desktop, you want to rearrange things or, or change a few things, or let's call them, a, let's say, adjust a few things to fit the desktop, right? Okay, so media queries look like this. Okay, um, it says at media, and then we can say only when the media type is screen and the features of the screen match this description. Okay, and then there's a curly brace here. It's sort of a code block, right? And inside here, you can place any rules that you have. So, for example, um, on a mobile first approach, maybe our boxes, imagine this is a a div called box, right? It has a class name box. These are 100% width. But when we move to the desktop, we might want it to change the width to 33%, okay? So here, this rule is saying, hey, um, at media, only screen, and the minimum width is 320. So this would be the size of the iPhone um, iPhone, the original iPhone and iPhone 4 and iPhone 5. Um, down here, you can see we have another rule, at media, only screen, and minimum width of 480. This would be a rule that applies when the screen is, um, it's like an iPhone screen that would be um, the regular iPhone or iPhone 4 in landscape, okay? Um, it might fit some other screens, too. And then here we have minimum width 768, and um, this is for the um, the iPad in portrait mode. And then 992, I'm not quite sure why they chose that number. It doesn't match any screen sizes, but I guess this would be, you know, we're assuming we're on the desktop, um, and then this would be a wide desktop 1200, right? So how does this work? Well, let's imagine, you know, whenever the screen is, let's say, larger than 992, because this would be sort of our desktop and medium-sized device, we could say box has a width of 33%, okay? So the rule here is saying, you know, a minimum width of 992. So essentially anything 992 and greater would get this rule would apply. Okay, so you know, I'm I'm not having it. I'm not writing it here, but imagine like we had somewhere else a bunch of other rules that created our mobile design. So somewhere else, it would might say box has a width of 100 percent. Okay, so we'd have a bunch of these rules, and then later on, we'll have some rules that only fall within the at media. Okay, so within at media with some you know description here that describes when the rules are going to apply, we can add some more rules, and these rules will, will potentially override the other the previous rules that we had created to change them when these conditions are, are in effect. So in other words, when we're on the screen and the minimum width of that screen is 992 pixels, okay? Um, so this would be a mobile-first approach. Imagine that our, our on mobile devices, you know, box is supposed to be 100 percent and then you know now we're going to adjust box for the desktop okay so let's take another look here a little further down i have a bunch of rules these are still from bootstrap okay and this is the non-mobile first approach so imagine this is a desktop first approach here imagine that we've created a website and it started out like this 
But what we want to do is we want to adjust it so when it appears on a mobile device, it looks like this. So in this case, our boxes started out at 33% each. And, and you know, notice the, the upper box and the lower box here. We don't have to change it at all because in both cases, those two are 100% wide. So we don't actually have to adjust them at all, right? Um, there may be some other changes you want to make, like maybe something with the font size or, you know, something like that. And you can do that also. But, you know, the layout is the big one, right? It's the toughest one. But in this case, um, you know, those guys are the top and bottom one, box A and E, are going to be 100% wide in both cases, so we don't need to make any changes at all. The three boxes in the middle, B, C, and D, they need to change, though. They need to go from 33% to 100%. Okay, so, or they could be 50%. Maybe that works out for their content, right? So how would that work? Well, here, um, we could say, you know, we're on the desktop first, right? So we've got that. And then we can look through here and we can say, okay, well, you know, if we're on the screen and the maximum width is 1200, so the, the width is 1200 at most, right? Then we can apply styles here. Well, that's covered. But maybe down here for um, small devices where the maximum width is 768, right? So maybe, maybe in here we want to say um, dot box width is 100 percent okay so notice when we use at media we include the whole style rule so you need the selector and you know all the you know the properties and values that you're going to set okay um if you have previous rules that you set these should all probably come first because we can run into a situation i mean in this situation actually um, both of these rules are being applied, right? And so since they're both applied, the second one or whichever one comes later in your code, on a line further down in the code, um, that's the one that's going to be applied, okay? So this one will overwrite the other one, but it's only going to do it when this condition is met, okay? Um, the numbers in here, um, sometimes they're referred to as breakpoints, because these are the point where the screen breaks or where we change something, okay? So, um, so sometimes you can, you can, people will refer to these as breakpoints. They'll say like, oh, I've got a breakpoint at 480 pixels or, or whatever they're going to say, right? Um, so anyway, these are the breakpoints used in, um, in Bootstrap, okay? And that's a quick introduction to, to at media.